The Lockdown Collection is a 21-day arts project that features 21 artworks from a number of the, of the country's talented artists. Now, this is a series of visual art that is aimed at painting a picture of how South Africa looks like under the nationwide lockdown brought about by mitigating the spread of the coronavirus. This initiative has already raised over 2 million rand through art in sales and donations via the virtual auction that took place at the end of the 21-day campaign. But to tell us more about this, we joined on Skype uh, by the member of the Entrepreneurs' Organization and the project's founding partner, Carl Bates. Carl, very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Very good morning and thanks for having me. It's wonderful to be here. It's an absolute pleasure having you. Now, what, what is the Lockdown Collection and why was it established? So it was established because at the beginning of the lockdown, in fact, just before the lockdown, I was sitting with my son, who's 18 months old, my father-in-law and my wife. We were watching President Thor Ramaphosa announce the lockdown. And I, I turned to my son and I said, you won't remember this day, but this day is going to go down in history. And I think everyone knows that there's an economic impact as a result of the coronavirus here in South Africa, that the health impact, speaking about that on the news a couple of moments ago. But what we have to also remember is this is a cultural moment in the history of South Africa, indeed the history of the world. And what we wanted the lockdown collective to do was ensure that that moment was captured. And indeed that captured by visual art, as you can see, and of course gave us the opportunity to support back into uh, the artistic community here in South Africa. Now, Carl, take us through the virtual auction that I believe was a success, bringing in over 2 million rand in sales and donations. So the virtual auction was the auction of the first part of the collection, the, the initial 21 days to represent the 21 days of the uh, first part of the lockdown. And it was an absolute success. We, we built up to it over the 21 days and it achieved what's rather uncommon in the auction world in South Africa, which is called a white glove sale, where every piece of art sold during that process. And I think that just represents the significance of the history that's encapsulated in these pieces of art. So now we've moved to the extension collection, and that's been sold online through a, a traditional gallery, a red dot sale, if you like, and, and that's currently live. Then there's also the Vulnerable Artist Fund. How does that work and who is eligible to apply for it and benefit from this grant? So the Vulnerable Artist Fund is one of the two ways the lockdown collection is supporting South Africa. So the Vulnerable Artist being one, the, the second being the, the President Solidarity Fund. The Vulnerable Artist Fund is able to take donations, but it's also been funded through the sale of the art where a percentage of each of the artwork goes to the Vulnerable Artist Fund and, and as I say, then to the President's Solidarity Fund. Artists who are, are working artists who, who are affected by the lockdown, uh, who have been unable to be in their studios or unable to sell through galleries, etc., have been able to apply and receive grants through the application system from the Bonneville Artist Fund. What's really important for us to keep that um, up and keep the momentum going for that is that we continue to sell the art in the extension collection to replenish the funds for the Vulnerable Artist Fund. And I'm sure you apply very uh, stringent uh, criteria in terms of selecting those who will benefit from, uh, from this particular fund, because I would imagine there's thousands of artists out there who may need assistance. Absolutely, and I, I think it's a good point to just sort of connect the, the number of players that have been involved in making this happen. So, as you said, I'm an entrepreneur, a member of the Entrepreneurs Organization, and someone who... Uh, comes up with an idea and, and, and works out how to pull it together. But really the brains behind the art and the, the Vulnerable Artists Fund and making sure that we're impacting the art world in, in the most appropriate manner. Uh, my founding partners are Lauren Wolf from Mrs. Wolf and Kim Berman, Professor Kim Berman from the University of Johannesburg and Artist Proof Studio. And they really have the insight into the art world and have made sure that there's integrity both in the creation of the collections uh, and, of course, in the way the Vulnerable Artist Fund is, is, is being managed. And I think the magic of this journey was it went from conception to, to launch in 48 hours, and that wouldn't have happened without 
those two magnificent individuals, as well as all of the volunteers that have been part of the process. Yeah, and the 21 new artworks that you uh, that you are open to be sold through the Artist Proof Studio from, I believe, from the 25th of May. Uh, tell us more about the pieces on offer and how the sales are going, and just who are the artists? So the artists range from from a cross section of of South African artists, and really the interesting thing. I think about the extension collection is that it's seen a difference in the shift of the, the, the feeling in South Africa from, I think, the original 21 pieces that were, were in some ways a little bit more a negative in their perspective on South Africa because of the moment in time. And I think that's the value of the lockdown collection is capturing that moment. Of course, they weren't all negative, but there were a couple that sort of captured that, that moment, whereas the, the, Extension Collection starts to look at, well, where is this going? And what's the real impact been on people? And there's a couple of beautiful pieces about uh, individuals who are on the front line and, and uh, are workers on the front line of, of the response in South Africa. This one from Cesare Causa you have on the screen right now is an is a awesome piece about reflection. There's another one. My favorite piece of the collection is by Leberhung, and, and she has painted this girl um, with a massive smile. And, and just the frame of a mask. So instead of covering her, her smile with the mask, as I suppose you would see every day in South Africa right now, this particular piece has the mask open, and it's called And Yet I Smile. And I think the, the, the thing that I take from the extension collection is that as we look forward, and yet we smile, and yet we're still here, and yet God still blesses us, and, and we've got that opportunity to, to, to really look into the future and be, be a positive impact on where we go. So if, anyone can go on to the Artist website and see the pieces. And of course, to your point, support the sale of, uh, of those pieces, right? And it's a good thing that uh, your platform actually promotes artistic ingenuity and innovation. Now, Carl, you are also a member of the Entrepreneurs Organization, as you mentioned. Talk to us about the kind of work that you do there. So I'm, uh, I've been a member of the Entrepreneurs Organization for a couple of years, and I think the great thing about being a member of an organization like uh, the Entrepreneurs Organization is that you get the opportunity to engage with other entrepreneurs, and you can have crazy ideas like this and have people who just come to the fore and, and make it happen and support it to happen. And I, I suppose an example of that from the first 21-day collection is uh, the, the Ardmore piece that the Art of Ceramics piece that became part of the first 21-day collection got connected to me through the Entrepreneurs Organization. I, I sent out a message and I said, guys, girls, this is something that I'm thinking about making happen. How can you help? And members stepped up and said, hey, here's something that I can do to, to make that happen. And of course, um, one of the members of the Ardmore fam family is, uh, is a member of the Entrepreneurs Organization, John, and he was able to connect us with put the team there and get them to put a piece, donate mm. piece into the coach. Um, but the learning and the, the opportunity for growth, and I find the challenge as an entrepreneur from fellow entrepreneurs really does make both the lockdown collection opportunity and indeed my business, the Sadar Group, better on a daily basis. All right, Carl, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. All right. Now, there, is, there we go. That's the member of the Entrepreneurs Organization, Carl Bates. And we were just in conversation with him about an initiative that he co-founded with Lauren Wolf called the Lockdown Collection Visual Art Series.